with this this meter of mine temperature gauge I received this little device okay. and um, uh, what you will notice over here um, we know over here water is coming through going that way through this pipe um, and uh, so we can sense water temperature over there but I want you to take notice of something um, look at that looks like the same thing doesn't it so yeah um, it looks like it has to be going into that position over there um, also what I have done previously and you can do this if you want to but you can just believe me <laughs> Uh, maybe that's the easy way out. You can take the measurement of, let's say, the front of this versus the back. Okay, 2,5 kilo ohm, something in that range. And you will see that that actually changes according to the temperature of the engine. Okay. Um, so you can do the measurements and you can go and see that for yourself. The engine is cold at this stage. Um, so that does change what you can do. And this is what I've done. I started the engine, let it run for a while until it's nice and warm. And then as it was cooling down, I could see the resistance change accordingly. Okay. So... I think the first, to install this little meat of us, I think the first thing to do would be to remove this. Okay. Oh, nice and corroded over there. I didn't, don't know if you saw that, the green over there. For this, you use a, okay, oh, pardon my... Uh, <laughs> tools they've seen better days they are rusted you can see you know, we have salt water on this side of the world okay okay let me show you look at that same thing isn't it i say it's the same thing <laughs> the front is different though over here you can draw have a screw on that it's got the thread this one i don't actually know what how this works doesn't matter I'm not going to use it okay so let's just here it goes in easily well up to a certain point though okay I don't want to force it so I just took a look at the lengths of these threads that is it sound it looks like uh, I want to say exactly the same length so this should be able to go into the same place as that i'm still not going to force it um, if you look at that you'll see basically the same length okay so i'm not going to force it um but uh, i think it should go in oh yeah, i don't know let's see Oh, that's okay. I don't know. I will have to let the engine run and see how it's doing. If there's water coming out on this side, then we can maybe turn it in a little bit more. I don't know. Let's just test it and see. The engine is not very hot it's actually sort of lukewarm i would say uh, uh, it's not like oh well, very starts to burn me after a let's say a long time um, okay let's see what's the resistance reading yeah 
800 ohms 800 ohms okay we will read it a little bit later on again well doesn't look like water is coming out of it um so it looks good There we go. Hopefully you can see that. Yes. Okay. We'll see. 1.6. 1.66 at this stage. Okay. 1, 0.73. 730 ohm so it's steadily increasing and uh, yeah as it cools down so that means as it's increasing the uh, current is going to become lower so as the temperature goes lower the current will become lower so yeah that's actually hmm, so like this thing is almost just a voltmeter, you know, or current meter, measuring the current, or you know, something like that. Yeah, it's actually in line, right? So it's current. Yeah, yeah. Okay. easy enough. Okay, also something that I have to mention. <clears throat> uh, you don't know that this thing works in the same way as that one. What I mean by that is um, this one might be calibrated or have a different voltage than that one for the same temperature. So it doesn't mean you can just connect this um, to this one. Okay, you have to connect the correct meter to the correct sensor over there. At the back of this you will see that is the positive side, that is the negative, and that has got an S next to it. The S is for signal, or generally that's what it is. Positive and negative explains itself. The signal has to be connected to that. This, um, yeah, uh, when I say the signal, to the front part only, okay? Very important that the front part and the back part doesn't connect to each other or doesn't touch each other um, in some way uh, with a metal, okay, so that it can conduct from the one to the other because then you will not get any reading or any accurate reading, okay. You are going to basically short out things so it doesn't sound too good, okay. Uh, so that is something that you try to avoid. Um, and then, yeah. We can, I can somehow show you quickly over here, just the resistance thing again. Um, if you measure from here to there, you get 0 0.8. Uh, let's see if we can get a more accurate reading, like we've done in the past. 0, oh, 0 0.91 already. Okay, uh, 0, 0.91, uh, I don't know if you can see this, okay, let me, that you should be able to see, 0.91, yes, but you can also measure it from there, you see, because this part, zero resistance, well, <laughs> Zero resistance, mm, it sounds like a superconductor, but yeah, it's got a very, very low resistance. That's true though. So, also, you've got a light bulb over here, and this fits over here into that hole over there. Uh, these light bulbs doesn't really have a positive and a negative. Um, I uh, plan to replace this with an LED. LEDs does have a specific positive and a negative. So otherwise, LED D stands for diet. So it's a 
diode, LED is light emitting diode, and the diode is something that can conduct uh, current in only one direction. That's what it's used for. So in any case, diode can only conduct in one direction. So you have to have a specific positive and a negative. These light bulbs obviously doesn't work like that, but um, I'm still going to wire this thing in such a way that the red goes onto the positive and the white goes onto the negative. And well, that is the positive. That's the positive and that's the negative over there, positive. And that is what I'm planning to do as well. Let me just give you a quick overview of how I've done all of this. Or planning to do all of this. Um, firstly, yeah, I've soldered everything. Okay. Um, I say everything, obviously not underneath the nuts and stuff like that. You don't do that. But, uh, you know, I didn't just use a clamping tool over, over here. Mm. 